Hello guys, welcome to the InfoTech. Up till now we have discussed, let's open the our playlist. We have discussed basics of Dialogflow, what are intent, entities, actions and parameters. We have discussed our custom entities, we have discussed basics of Firebase. Then we integrate our bot with Facebook using, our res uh, using the recent update. We have deployed our bot to Twilio open source integration. And now we are gonna attach our Dialogflow bot with our backend, ser backend server. So up till now, if we type hi, the response is coming from our Dialogflow UI. Here it is, the response is coming from here. Now we wanna attach our this bot to our backend server from where we will do our business logic and we will uh, render this message on our ba our on condition basis so for this let's create our express server mm. for the express server we need these dependencies for our server we will use express and we will import we will require dialogflow dialogflow fulfillment body parser and actions on Google. So let's create our express server by cont express is equal to require express then app is equal to express dot use body parser dot json then call it now we will define in which port our server will be working then const port is equal to process dot env dot port or it will be running on our local port 3005 this is for our uh, uh, this is for where if you are deploying your server it will be running on their own development environment okay now let's console if our server is working or not will be listening on our power port then log it okay now for our server we will use node mode for for logs we will use node mode Okay, it is saying server is listening on port 3005. Now let's create our first API on slash route. Here we will define our path. It will be working on slash request response. And then we will simply do console or we can do or we can do mm -hmm, something response dot send hello world now let's create our wrapper for wrapper we will use ng rock ng ng rock http 3005 on this server, what NGROC does, NGROC create an HTTPS server on our local port. Now let's go to this URL. Uh, we have the our first slash API. Now let's change it if it is working or not. Hello world. 
um, express then simply save it and then refresh it here it is hello world from express it means our server is working correctly now let's attach our dialogflow bot to uh, our server for dialogflow we are we are going to use their official documentation for fulfillment they are uh, at the start they are uh, they are telling to attach inline editor or we can attach our webhook in that so this is the method we will create a function and then we will receive agent and then we will send agent dot add welcome to the agent so let's implement it let's go to their github repository and here it is we will initialize their web client then we will require our agent the agent will be used in our request we will create a new request called webhook, webhook. app dot post on slash webhook request it is gonna receive request and response and then we will paste our agent dot add to send response to our dialog flow which is the code uh, here here it is for simplicity we are just copy and pasting code from your official documentation for simplicity purpose okay so here we have created our slash webhook route now we need to tell dialogflow in which intent you have to configure this function so let's create some intents mapping let intents new map and then we will call it intents dot handle request which request uh, which request intents oh no we will use agent agent dot handle request agent which agent underscore agent this one underscore agent for simplicity we are extracting underscore agent from this webhook client and we will use agent for our function now let's let's do some intent mapping intents dot set here we will define our dialog flow intent name and we will define here our agent name agent function name welcome and this is called the uh, welcome now let's go to dialog flow and grab our intent name here it is simply we need to paste it as it is with spaces or underscores if any there so up till now our agent is ready our backend is ready let's save it if we have any errors no we haven't any errors yet now in the dialog flow just we need to attach our fulfillment in fulfillment tab from this URL from this URL at webhook slash webhook request we will just change the URL to this and slash webhook and then we will save it now let's try it hi Mm, 
I don't think we have any errors. It is saying something unhandled. No handler for intent. Okay, so okay, we haven't imported dialog flow forms. Dialog flow is equal to require dialog flow and then we have required the fulfillment now let's test it again hi no handler for intent agent let intents is equal to new map handle request okay the issue is we have declared handle request before the set now it should work correctly let's test it again okay so here is it welcome to my agent let's change it welcome to my agent from express save it Norman is again restarting our server on our behalf. Let's type hi. He said hi and is saying hello from Express. Okay, guys, let's revise what we have learned today. Is up till now we had created our basic bot using Dialogflow UI. Now we have attached our webhook, our backend database, our backend server with our agent to send our custom responses. We have created our express server using express. We have initialized Dialogflow using this Dialogflow required from Dialogflow. Then we have used express. Then we have created the slash webhook route to send all requests to this. If we want to create another functions, we will just copy duplicate is we will duplicate this and our function will work we will change our name as our, our name in dialog flow we will change these names and so on and so forth so today we have learned dialog flow fulfillment library using express.js okay guys hope you have understand thanks for watching bye bye